we want to learn how to find all the possible rational zeros in a function. And so what I've written out is I've written out the equation over here on the right hand side. So we take the factors of the constant term divided by the factors of the leading coefficient. So that means I've got to figure out my constant term. So my constant term in x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6 is the 6 factor. So now all I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and list all the factors. So I know that 6 is 1 times 6, so I'm going to write that here, 1 times 6 and 2 times 3, which always looks kind of weird. So then what that's going to give me is I can do plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, and plus or minus 6. Now, what are the factors of my leading coefficient? Well, my leading coefficient is 1. And I better circle those just to make sure we're all on the same playing field. So there's the 6 I got right here. This is understood, so that's going to be the 1. So this is just going to be plus or minus 1. So our formula says that what we need to do is we need to take the factors from the constant term and divide each one by the factors in the leading coefficient. So I have 1 divided by 1, so I'm going to have plus or minus 1. And I've got 2 divided by 1, so I'm going to have plus or minus 2. 3 divided by 1, so I'm going to have plus or minus 3. Finally, 6 divided by 1, plus or minus 6. So these are all of your possible rational zeros.